Hi, booktube. Um, I missed Friday. <clears throat> Sorry, I missed Friday reads. Um, no excuses, just completely forgot because I've been out of the game for, for so long, it feels like. Um, so I just thought I'd do a, a currently reading um, and just show you what I am currently reading, I guess. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> so I have Slapstick by Kurt Vonnegut, and there's just something about Kurt Vonnegut. He is one of the first authors that, first modern authors that I really kind of sought out and um, really, really enjoyed reading. Um, and so coming back to him, it's been a while since I've read something by him, coming back to him just feels like kind of coming home, you know what I mean? It's such a comforting thing knowing what I'm getting into when I read a Kurt Vonnegut. Well, as much as you can know when you read a Kurt Vonnegut, there's a lot of unexpected stuff happening um, in all his books. Um, but I just wanted to show you that cover. I think it's really cool. Um, I just noticed the hi-ho in the eyes there. Uh, it's a common phrase in the book. Um, and I'm just going through this really fast. I'm already on page 168. Um, this is um, a really interesting story about a man who uh, is the was the tallest man ever to be voted um, as the president of the United States. Um, I'm just going to read the back here because it, it does it well. Welcome to the future and the 100th birthday party of Wilbur Daffodil Eleven Swain, king of Manhattan, landlord and tenant of the vacant Empire State Building, genius idiot, pediatrician, twin, and former tallest president of the United States. See the world through his eyes, a world of mischief, piracy, lunacy, incest, plague, stunts, sadness, nervous laughter, and so on. Um, so this is really quite fun to read, um, a little shocking in, in parts, um, as well, and I'm just taking so much in here. Um, one thing that, uh, really got me, um, was in the introduction, um, Kurt Vonnegut was, um, talking about his sister. Let me just see. Um, it, the introduction's quite long and it's quite well worth reading. Um, he says a lot of good things. Um, so here, um, for my own part though, it would have been catastrophic if I had forgotten my sister at once. I had never told her so, but she was the person I had always written for. She was the secret of whatever artistic unity I had ever achieved. She, I know I'm having difficulty <laughs> saying that. She was the secret of my technique. Any creation which had any wholeness and harmoniousness, I suspect was made by an artist or inventor with an audience of one in mind. Um, just to feel that connection with his, with his sister is amazing. I started, uh, crying at that part, uh, when I was reading it, but yeah, there's just so much insight, um, in this book and I'm really enjoying it. I'm also reading, um, Peace, Sell, Destroy, Mini by Rudy Wibb. Um, and this is interesting. Um, Rudy Wibb was a, um, he's a Canadian author. But he belonged to a Mennonite um, family um, and left the family, um, left the, the lifestyle. Um, and this is about a Mennonite community during World War II. And um, if you don't know, Mennonites were, um, not all of them were, but they were kind of the culture and the, um, the influence upon them was to be conscious conscientious objectors to the war so that they weren't you know and that if they were called it for the draft they had to say no i'm a conscientious objector um i'm not going to fight um and this is um someone um you know going against that i believe i'm not at that point yet um but it's a really interesting look at um religion and beliefs in the mennonite family um, and because it takes place in 1944, um, in Saskatchewan, I believe, um, there's also a lot of interaction with, now, I don't know, I, I, I find it offensive, um, what they use, the terms they use, but, um, I'm not too clear on whether that was acceptable back then or not, or whether that was racist back then, but they call natives, um, 
and Métis breeds or half breeds, um, which is quite interesting. So they have a lot of interaction with uh, First Nations in here as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to see where that goes. He's really quite, um, kind of talks around things sometimes. Um, so you have to pay attention to what he's, what he's saying because he'll say it in this really elaborate way, um, which is beautiful, but you have to pay attention to what he's saying to really get at the, um, the story there. Um, so those are the two books I'm reading right now when I do have a chance to read. Sorry, I'm slumping down because I'm tired and coming out of frame here. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm currently reading. Um, let me know uh, what you're currently reading, and thank you for watching.